Sometimes alone on the dark side of nowhere, wondering when is it all. Later on, we went to Multnomah Seminary, it's called today, back then was called Multnomah School of the Bible, and Ruth's brother, Luis Palau, sponsored us to be admitted into the grad course. And, and you know, Multnomah is very crunchy, or was very crunchy, very Dallas Theological Seminary, which I like that part. And, uh, and so during the weekends, we were so homesick with Ruth because things are more informal in Argentina and what have you. And, and so we would go for a drive on the beautiful Oregonian countryside, and we would see these colonies of hippies taking over. You may remember, I mean, here they took over Santa Cruz. They took over Watsonville, you know. I mean, people move away, they took over. But one day, we are driving and that was a year that the harvest of berries was not profitable because whatever they paid the farmer wasn't enough to cover his cost. Well, many hippies offered to pick up the berries, and so the farmer said, go ahead, it's going to go to waste. But on this particular day, Ruth and I are driving, and we see this colony of hippies on a hillside picking berries, but we listen carefully, and they are singing songs of praise. So I said to Ruth, this is different. So I pull up, I introduce myself, they look very hippie, very hippie. The guys have long hair, beards, you know, so forth, the ladies, some of them were pregnant. And I introduced myself, and they said, yeah, we came to the Lord, and we have agreed to pick up the harvest, and everything goes into a common purse, like the apostles. And the first money goes to pay for the delivery of the babies, of the girls that are pregnant, and so forth. And so I talked to them, connected immediately, heart to heart, and they said, could you teach us the Bible? Boy, I welcome that, you know, because I wanted, you know, I like the crunchy side, but I miss the juicy side, so I'll be glad to come here. And these are people that they would have spent hours in prayer, you know. They believe in miracles. They saw miracles. But they also acknowledge what Chuck Smith caught way back. They need the word. They want the word, and we are not welcoming them into our circles. So Ruth and I spend every spare hour, you know, teaching them. That became the Shiloh House Movement of hippies, and they did an incredible job, and I learned a lot from them, and they credit me with having learned a lot from us as well. So our experience was very, very positive. Sometimes a song on the wings of an angel, so sweet to me, by the world. 